It is a privilege for me to welcome you in UNIFIL headquarters as we convene to mark the International Day of United Nations Peacekeepers. Please join me in paying tribute to all men and women who have served and continue to serve in United Nations peacekeeping operations and to honor the memory of those who have lost their lives in the cause of peace. Peacekeepers are nowadays deployed in some of the harshest conditions on earth, where UN personnel must negotiate complex threats each day amid political instability with the large and often terrified populations to protect. In these places, they work to provide security while pursuing a political solution to ongoing conflicts. Those are the heroes we honor today. Let us pay tribute and respect to the 3,400 peacekeepers who have tragically lost their lives in the service of peace since the deployment of the first peacekeeping mission. Let me add also that today we have to honor the five peacekeepers from Togo who lost their lives yesterday in the line of duty in Mali. And let me echo the Secretary General's words in condemning in the strongest term the terrorist attacks against peacekeepers, men and women, military and civilians who are serving in the name of peace around the world. And let me take this opportunity to honor UNIFIL peacekeepers. Sadly, since the mission's establishment in 1978, more than 300 peacekeepers, military and civilians, lost their lives while serving the cause of peace in southern Lebanon. Those heroes, with many different backgrounds, all believed that peacekeeping is a global force for good. Let us be inspired by their dedication in providing peace and security to the people of South Lebanon. I want to honor today and congratulate with the peacekeepers, civilians and military alike, who are currently serving in UNIFIL for your courage, commitment to service of peace, and the professionalism shown in your everyday work as well as in the exceptional circumstances. The calm prevailing, prevailing today proves your courage and dedication, and I'm very honored and proud to serve with all of you.